Hi, I'm Jerome. I'm a cinematographer, photographer, and Astrum's product evangelist. Here to demonstrate a number of key guidelines for photographing a property in order to generate high quality Astrum 3D dollhouses, just like this one right here. If you're watching this video, this means that you have a pretty good understanding of the basic elements behind using Astroom's 3D Tour Kit. If this is your first time with Astroom, I recommend that you watch our onboarding video, which you can find linked in the description below. If you're already familiar with using the Astroom 3D Tour Kit, follow me through this video and I'll guide you through a few do's and don'ts for the best output. First, when setting up, use the gyroscope. The gyroscope is not just a handy leveling tool, it's essential for getting your shots nice, sharp, and straight. This not only makes your 360 tours pretty, but it also helps build out true corners for dollhouse assembly. To use the gyroscope, simply make sure that the ball is in the center of the crosshair, then you're good to go. Fully charge the rotator, because really there's nothing more frustrating than having your project halted midway. I don't know what else to say, but keep your gear charged. If it helps, carry a chunky power bank with you. A low power or halted rotator can result in distorted or incomplete panels. Use the Astroom tripod. It's set to the perfect height for taking 360 tours giving you a good sense of space when viewing the tour. Every Astroom 3D Tour Kit comes with one of these. Fully extend the tripod legs, mount the rotator, and you're good to go. The rotator is a two-piece design, and sometimes the top part can get loose. Turn it clockwise every now and then. If the top part comes off, you can simply screw it back on. Make sure the top of the rotator is screwed on tightly onto the base. Then, place a rotator on the tripod. Screw it on tightly, but not too tight. Position your camera correctly on the rotator. If you have an iPhone or a phone with the camera on the right side, align the camera to the right jaw clip so that the camera is close to the center of the rotator while keeping it balanced. If you have a Samsung or a phone with a camera in the middle, simply align the camera to the center of the rotator. Use the provided fisheye lens. If the option is available to you, shoot an HDR. This will provide great window views, balance out the bright and dark areas of the room for a clean 360 image. When shooting an HDR, aim at somewhere that's bright, but not the brightest. After shooting your panos, review your images to see if you need to reshoot. When you're satisfied, don't forget to tap on save. Starting at the entrance, you only need one shot per room. Remember to keep a direct line of sight, meaning that you can see at least one other spot that you have already shot, and don't forget to shoot the hallways. The order of the shots doesn't matter as long as they're all viewable from another shooting location. Just make sure you have at least one pano for each part of the home. If a hallway has corners, remember to shoot each corner to make connections and maintain line of sight. Don't shoot on stairways, your tripod won't be level. Instead, shoot stairway landings. Ask room will connect the floors for you. For small bathrooms, it's best to shoot them just outside, rather than attempt to cram your tripod in a very confined space. We're shooting 360, so we have to work with all natural lighting, and to get the best results, that is clear windows, great overall light, while casting no long shadows, shoot between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Clean your phone in fisheye lenses for sharp, crisp output. 
Nobody likes a 360 tour that looks like they need to pay a visit to the optometrist. Use a dry microfiber cloth in a pinch, use a handkerchief, tissue, napkin, or even a shirt tail will work. Just get that lens clean. Now, those were the things you should do. Here's what you shouldn't. Please, please don't do this. The ass room tripod is set for the optimal height so you don't have to think about it. Extend the legs fully, then get on with it. But make sure your tripod's on a level, flat surface. Don't forget to shoot outside spaces. Incorporating the front, side, and rear yard should give you a fuller virtual tour experience. Finally, I shouldn't even be saying this, but strangely enough, this, this has happened, so this needs to be said. The tripod is not optional. Just use a tripod, it comes with the kit. Last but not least, troubleshooting a common issue called ghosting. If your panels are coming out with what looks like a double exposure or judder lines, you'll need to fix that. And here's the checklist. First, the tripod. Make sure that it's sturdy and make sure that it's balanced on a flat surface with all feet touching the ground. If you're using a monopod, just ditch it and use an ass room tripod. Second, make sure that the phone isn't tilted on the rotator. Keep it straight. Use a gyroscope function and center the ball on the crosshair. Third, make sure that the fisheye lens is seated correctly. I recommend using the screw-on lens with the case rather than the clip-on for best results. And finally, align the phone camera with the clip jaw. That's a wrap. I hope this video helps you out. Enjoy your Astroom 3D Tour Kit, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.